Good morning guys, welcome to Flory Models Daily Vlog. Here we are on Thursday, the uh, 11th of January 2017. And I must admit, we have finished. Bum, bum, bum. The meteor is all done. So, um, I know you're technically on the blind side now. Uh, some of you might have seen it up on my Facebook page uh, and the various things like that. All finished, all done. Like I say, apologies it took a little bit longer than perhaps normal to get this one done, but uh, at the end of the day, you know what these things are like. <clears throat> They uh, start off with all very good intentions and everything else. Then we got into Star Wars month and obviously it sort of put by the wayside. But as promised, we've done it and we did do him on Wednesday. He was finished last night and I must admit it's turned out absolutely fantastic. Lovely little kit. If you're in any doubt about Airfix, um, obviously if you built some of their stuff back in the past and you haven't built anything like you know their new stuff like this thing, then definitely worth having a look because the quality has gone through the roof. So is the price in a lot of cases, but generally, I must admit, they are very, very nice. But today is gonna to be all about this. Okay, so to be honest, we reviewed this, was it last week, I think you saw it? Um, and this is one of those things where I've been banging on uh, for the last couple of, well, months, years, that what if Bandai released a snap together uh, Spitfire or a Mustang or something, and I said it completely as a joke. Now, I'm not sure if men were listening or something, but they've actually now released this. Now, this apparently is a uh, what they call a glue-free or a solvent-free uh, kit, which basically means that it'll go together without any glue and filler and all the rest of it. Now, I'm quite skeptical because from the get-go, I've always said that the difference between sci-fi is you can hide a lot of stuff underneath seams, joints, and stuff like that. This, you don't have that option purely because you've got everything exposed. So you've got wings and joints and across noses and stuff like that. Sci-fi don't tend to have those types of things, okay, but these do. But the rumor is it actually goes together very, very well. A couple of the guys on the forum have done it. So I thought, right, okay, as a little bit of a, a proper on test and everything else like that, and I've got a spare day today, we're gonna do a one day, a day build and we're gonna put this thing together. So see how we get on. Okay, just done a large spill to the camera. We've completed it. It is done, as you can see it down here. No glue. Well, there is a tiny bit, but it explains in the video. Um, no, it doesn't work. Uh, the thing is, the whole point of me doing this one is because, like it says on the front, cement-free, fast build. Um, go and watch the video, I explain it fully in depth, but at the end of the day, it's not. Um, and to be honest, I'd rather build the Tamiya 148 P51 Mustang, because I think it goes together better than this one, um, certainly easier, uh, and with the same level of detail. So from that point of view, the pros and cons, there's a lot more cons with this kit, uh, shall we say. So from that point of view, unfortunately, it is a bit of a fail. It's a bit of a gimmick. It's saying cement free. Well, I can't put the tail on, the rudder just won't sit in here because it needs some glue to weld this. This hasn't got any glue, to be honest, if you're not gonna watch the video, the intake scoop here, just the front part, I managed to cut the locating pin off. So without it, it won't stay on there. So I've glued that. The rest of this is no glue on this anywhere. So yes, it has gone very nicely together, but boy, is it a pain. You've only got to touch it and it falls apart. So from that point of view, this isn't a Bandai kit. This isn't like the ones we've worked on where with the Bandai stuff, the Star Wars stuff especially, you can play with it if you wanted to. It's not gonna fall apart in your hand. This is just waiting to drop apart. It's got some nice touches, but unfortunately, if you're asking me, I prefer to build the Tamiya 148 P51 Mustang, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and as I say, it's taken me just under two hours to build this start to finish. Uh, and again, no build problems. It's just that probably I could have done it quicker if I'd used glue, if that makes sense, because I would have just literally tapped the glue along uh, as we went and I wouldn't have had to keep putting bits back on because I kept knocking them off because they are literally just waiting to fall off. But from a point of view of fit, uh, and engineering, it's actually quite nice. There's no gaps on it. If you're building this as a P51, if you want a P51 kit, yes, this will do you. But the cheaper option would technically be to go get Tamiya's old school uh, P51D Mustang. That's a beautiful little kit. It goes together, no issues, no problems, and all the rest of it. And okay, this thing has got the thing. It's got details on the top and riveting. Technically, we know it doesn't have it and everything else like that, but it's actually a really nice kit. So from that point of view, if you can't find the Tamiya one, you could do this one. It's not gonna hurt, but by no means is it cement free. That's just a no-no. It just got loads of faults and it's falling apart all over it. But I think with a bit of glue, it would be really, really nice. So what I'm gonna do with this one, come back, maybe next week, maybe the week after, I'm gonna 
semi disassemble it as I say we've painted all the cockpit with this one and shown weathering it as well quick job on it so what we're gonna do is show a quick paint job on it as well so we'll just pop in there fix this thing because these gun things are just waiting to fall off permanently the bombs are always just ready to fall off and you know at any point this is all just literally hanging here by a thread you've only got to touch it and it all comes apart but I think get it apart glue it it'll look lovely then then we can get a coat of primer onto it and then we can do a, a natural metal finisher all over it uh, and the decal job in there some invasion stripes and we'll have a very nice looking p51 so there we go not too bad at all okay so to be honest what i've done is i've, I've just spent the last sort of 10 minutes just gluing it together and actually once you put a bit of glue in this really works it goes together very very nicely uh, still got to do the front bit but apart from that we are all good so what i'm going to do is next week as i said we're going to do this as another sort of one day build or a few hour build okay and we'll actually get this thing painted i think and decal and everything else and we'll probably use i don't know something like extreme metals or might use mrp metals or something else on this one because we're going to do it as um uh, short fuse alley uh, because obviously it's in a full metal finish and there isn't too much color on it but it's got invasion stripes and I am a real sucker for invasion stripes I think they look really really nice anyway uh, another thing showed up today not a kit for once you'll be happy to know but we do have this so what we've actually got now is a backflow um, inhibitor I suppose you'd call it so this is great so as long as I put it in the right way around we'll be absolutely fine so we won't have the trouble with having both spray booths running at the same time with one also I've got an adapter ring for it so we've got um, you know a way of having two of these going into one big 120 millimeter uh, outflow which will then take all the hose out so that's probably what I'm gonna do this afternoon as well is to get into the spray booth pull that apart install this guy into there because I say this will make a world of difference uh, and then hopefully it will stop that problem with the air recirculating and coming back down and we get that one finished all off and then tomorrow obviously it's the friday show so we're going to have all your bits and pieces in there we've got a couple of kit reviews coming up for you as well very soon i've done a kit review on this guy so that may be up with you tomorrow if not it'll be up probably on monday or over the weekend or something else like that and then i've got to do some editing and get some more reviewing done so before we get started with the a10 i'm going to pile through with a load of reviews as i say probably tomorrow uh, and over the weekend and early part of next week and then literally clearing the decks and everything and we're on with the a10 so there we go that's it from me today thank you for joining me this will be up with you just as soon as i get it obviously all edited it could be up maybe tomorrow it might be over the weekend it may be only part of next week but obviously i've got to edit together all today's build of putting this one but as soon as it's done it'll be with you as always here at flory model so happy modeling take care and i'll catch you all tomorrow